Hello everybody, in this tutorial I will explain how we can record the simulation in VRAP and get that in Blender as an animation. As a, a first preparation step, we need to go to GitHub, uh, the link is in the description, and download these uh, two files to the computer. They will be needed later. You can do it uh, by cloning the kit or whatever. If we have these files, we just have to uh, start with making the animation in VRAP and to do that, we need to open VRAP first. I will do an example with a demo scene that is uh, in VRAP. So we will start by opening that. Okay, so uh, when this, the only thing you need to add to this scene is the VRAP object that you could find at the GitHub repository. And this uh, will do everything actually. So what you then need to do is just run the scene that in the simulation for the amount of time that you want and stop it. And that actually does everything. What's being done is that uh, the meshes are exported uh, to a VRAP folder. Yeah, you can change the folder in the scripts, but by the standard is uh, this one. And you see that all the meshes of the scene are exported as OBG files. Uh, this can be loaded in uh, Blender afterwards. And the poses are uh, also stored in text files. These positions are then uh, used as keyframes in Blender later. Uh, it will be done automatically, actually. Uh, we also have an overview of all the elements that are in the scene. These are the visible meshes. Uh, yeah, the object is not magic. Everything is just programmed in Lua, so you can see for yourself how we do it. We start by getting the visible meshes, uh, which is done here, and you can change that to meshes that you want to visualize if you want to change that. That's not easy. And then we also record the position of the objects at each simulation time. You can also change that if you want. You, you have an example on how to do it. And uh, finally, we just export everything, which is also shown in the script. You can change that if you want to. Uh, that's all in VRAP. The next step is to go to Blender. And what we need to do in Blender is uh, Basically, yeah, first delete the cube. That's a standard thing. And then you need to go to the script editor of, v of Blender. Okay, so like this. And make a new script like this. And just paste in the code that you could find on the GitHub repository. So, yeah, we're looking for that now. Just open it in your favorite editor and then copy paste all the code. Then run the script in Blender and then wait a bit. Now it's late loading all the object files and uh, the animations. So this can take a while because it's not really that efficiently programmed. And yeah, if you use the default floor, you see that there is an element that uh, wrecks up the visualization. So just remove that wireframe and then you will see that uh, it's visualized properly. And this is not only the scene that is uh, visualized proper, uh, properly, but the animation also. So if we see in the timeline, of an object, you see that all these poses are uh, stored as keyframes, and you can now already play the animation. And that's actually what we wanted to do in this video. So we have an animation of a VRAP simulation in uh, Blender. Yeah, you can uh, make the animation fit. Uh, Okay, now that we have that, I will show you quickly how to make a video in Blender with not too many details. You can uh, look that up yourself. First, we want to select the proper renderer. Uh, next, we select the output as a video. 
because that's what we want and increase the quality because that's the goal of everything right and then you can in theory already start rendering uh, what you need is a uh, also need to specify an output directory uh, for the output file uh, okay that can take a while Uh, what I forgot to specify there and which I will do now is specify a file name because yeah it's also important and now that we have that uh, let me check the render settings let me switch to EV first to see uh, quickly what we have and also uh, yeah all the different settings those are not too important and now we can uh, see it rendering frame by frame here I will uh, speed it up a bit So what we have now, uh, now it's finished, so we can close this. And now you see if you open the video at the location where you specified it, then we already have a video rendered in Blender, uh, which is completely what we did in VRAP. And what remains uh, is now to yeah, add to the quality because the main difference of Blender is that you can specify uh, better lighting, uh, more detailed materials, and uh, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, now the goal is to just yeah mess with that, I guess. And now you will see me messing in Blender a bit, but I actually can't do that. So you should uh, watch proper uh, instruction videos on YouTube to do that. So uh, I will upload the results in a different video. You can find that on my channel. So I hope you enjoyed it and bye.